So when you talk about what's called castrate resistant prostate cancer, what that means is someone is on a testosterone lowering agent. This is called ADT and it's either done with medication or with surgery. Surgery to remove the testicles and remove the, the source of testosterone. One of the two sources of testosterone is removed and so Guys are often put on this hormone therapy for advanced disease or metastatic prostate cancer. And the reason they're put on that is because these medications lower the testosterone. And based on the biology that we know about prostate cancer, these cancer cells need testosterone in order to grow and change and invade structures. So when you lower this testosterone, this cancer oftentimes stops growing. And it's often effective for many guys for a long period of time. When these agents are used, this low testosterone environment is very effective in stopping advanced cancer or metastatic prostate cancer. So castrate resistant prostate cancer is when this has been going on and the cancer no longer responds to this low testosterone environment that's what we call castrate resistant prostate cancer, meaning it's not responding to this low testosterone environment. And in that situation, it's broken up into non metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer and metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer. In these situations, there's different treatments that can be done once this happens, first thing is you can add medications called anti-androgens. These are medications that block the remaining 10% of testosterone production that come from the adrenal, or they interfere with this receptor, this testosterone receptor, or they even can interfere with the tumor's production of testosterone so that they can interfere at that period or, or that place of the, of the cancer progression area. So those are called antiandrogens. There's also chemotherapy. There's immunotherapy. And there are newer medications called PARP inhibitors, which are also newer medications that are used for advanced prostate cancer in this castrate resistant prostate cancer group. So this progression over here, many and most prostate cancer patients never get to this area here. Uh, again, this is a minority of prostate cancer patients that get here that need this. Um, but some of them do, and many of them do, and many of them need different types of treatments. And again, there are more and more treatments becoming available. Just in the last few months, another anti-androgen was put on the market uh, just, just over the last six months. So um, again, newer medications, better medications, medications that target the actual tumor cell itself are now being developed. And so these are potential treatments for castrate resistant prostate cancer. Um, again, it's later in the disease process. I hope I make sense and I hope that I'm helping one person. I'm hope that uh, what I'm talking about is making sense and 
And, and I, my goal in this is to help one person. If I've helped one person, this has been successful. So if this is helpful, hit like. Let me know. Let me know that what I'm saying is helpful to you. You're understanding this. And if you know someone with advanced prostate cancer or has been recently diagnosed with prostate cancer, please share our information. Send this to them because our goal is to educate guys about prostate cancer. That's it. I'm Dr. William Stiles on UrologyAnswers.com. Thanks for watching.